So now we've got our elements in place and all we really need to do is to add ourselves a little button down at the bottom. So I'm going to press return so that we have a nice little paragraph that's already indented. And I'm going to go up to the top of our forms and you'll notice that there is a button icon right up here. Looks like a button. So we'll press on that, inserting, well, first of all, we'll give it an ID. So I'll just call this the submit. And we can label this submit as well. Perhaps you want to capitalize that one. And you'll notice that uh, here it's styling by default with no label tag. We don't really need a label. It's already inside. And positioning it before the element doesn't really help us here so we're just gonna click over there and you'll see there's our submit and if we like it like this that's fine you may find that you know you don't really need to put in this irregardless of the label so I'm just gonna call it submit like this and we now have our submit button now in order to get this submit button to actually work we need to examine something in our code view and we can see here that in the code view we've got the entire elements wrapped up individually inside of paragraphs and here is the opening of the form tag itself and you'll notice that there is information here in the property window when we select it that way you'll see that the action area is empty so what we can do is actually provide an action and what I'm going to do is to provide a mail to action and you can see it right here I've just got mail to someone at example.com something like that and if we were to go into our contact area here I will enter that into the action you could enter it into the properties window or directly into the code so the first form element right over there the action now has a mail to action associated with it the post method is we're posting this information it's got the ID form 1 form 1 that's fine but there's something else that we're gonna include in here and you can see it in the finished example I've in provided the encryption type as text plain and I can just copy that here or I can go into this area and go to the encryption type here and say text forward slash plain actually I think it's type no text that's right so now that we have text plane in here what you will see is once we preview this in the browser we have all of our elements in place and I can preview this in Safari and just take a look at it we can see that everything is sort of mapped out pretty much the way I want and you'll notice the links work go to home section go to contact section you may be wondering why is it shifting the way it is because the home section has a scroll bar whereas the contact section does not so you might see a little shift that's perfectly normal because it's always supposed to be in the center it's relative and check it out if I were to come in here and say you know first name Santo last name Romano notice I'm just pressing tab to go in between there and I'll say enter your comments here hello and if I press tab I can say what are you interested in and I can say thread needles thimbles are you interested in newsletter no thank you Canada is my country of origin and if I submit this notice what happens it opens up the email I can put in subject if I wish notice all of this information that I entered in here are the values for those areas and it's provided us with something that we can use as a real live world example so that's your form working perfectly and now all we have to do is to think about and concern ourselves with potentially styling this information and making it look a little bit more akin to what's going on with the rest of our example